on board yeah. now with the Alfa Romeo and this is where they all start to slow down and they all want to get a bit of space and well that's Kimi Räikkönen having to jam on the brakes quite a bit going into the Parabolica and look there's George Russell wanting to get on with it as well now George Russell having to pull out from behind the rear wing of Kimi Räikkönen this is almost like a race not qualifying yeah now they're going to hold each other up by squabbling over the turning point to the first oh. corner so it's it's horrible there Sebastian Vettel almost running into the Williams there as he exited the chicane we're on board with Kimi Raikkonen and he's oh. trying to get past the Renault and he's been hampered there very much by the Renault in front of him and that's Esteban Ocon and Kimi Raikkonen tangling on a qualifying lap if it was a race it would be high drama in qualifying it's massive frustration what is going on out there on this Saturday afternoon? We're watching the sector times. We're not seeing purple sector times uh, out there on the ball. We are seeing a few improve. Ricardo and Stroll and Leclerc and Raikkonen through the first sector, but Raikkonen's middle sector massively compromised. Albon should be getting a lovely slipstream from where he is from several cars, but he'll also ah, be getting... Oh, he's, not, he's though, Martin. getting out of it. So but Albon's not, his, his times do not reflect the fact that he might be getting a decent slipstream here at all. And Alex Albon is very much in relegation trouble, as is this man, Sebastian Vettel, trying to get out of Q1. He's in the bottom five at the moment, crosses the line in a few moments, uh, Sebastian Vettel. Uh, we see Vettel pitting. He's pitted, he's not going to improve his time, and he's not crossed the line. Giovinazzi goes through, 18th. Russell, ahead of Latifi, he keeps up his 100% record in qualifying in Formula 1. Leclerc goes 9th. Fiat goes 6th, and Gasly goes 5th, because they managed to sort out their laps. But there was one heck of a kerfuffle further up the road. It's blocking me all the damn this idiot. Yeah, we can see, we can see. On a fast lap. Yeah, Ocon's with the widest Renault in existence there. What a mess. Why did the Alphas have to overtake everybody? And the big headline news here at Monza is that Sebastian Vettel is one of the first five to get knocked out in qualifying. His Ferrari P17, he just got tangled up in a place he didn't want to be. We are on board uh, with the Renault of Esteban Ocon, who's not getting a slipstream from anybody because there's nobody in front of him. And he crosses the line and he doesn't improve on 12th place. And he has been out qualified by his teammate. Once again, we've got a yellow flag. Uh, somebody might have just gone off the track for a moment. Valtteri Bottas goes fastest. Kimi Raikkonen is out down in 14th. Track is now clear. Lance Stroll crosses the line and stays in seventh place. It's a new track record for Valtteri Bottas. Alex Albon stays in 10th. And I get the feeling some of these had to lift. Third place for uh, Sergio Perez. Norris goes through in eighth. And we look to Carlos Sainz, who's gone third fastest, and now Charles Leclerc crosses the line, and Charles Leclerc is out. And for the first time since 1984, neither Ferrari start their home Grand Prix inside the top 10. Kevin Magnussen was the driver that went off the track and caused that yellow flag. It was at the second of the Lesmo corners. As into the Parabolica we go for a man who's never ever been on the front row here at Monza before. This man has been on pole here on six particular occasions. Bottas crosses the line. It's a 1.19.1. We now look to the exit of the Parabolica and Lewis Hamilton to cross the line and see if he can overtake his teammate. He does. It is provisional pole for Lewis Hamilton by less than a tenth of a second. Max Verstappen goes third fastest. No, he doesn't. Sergio Perez goes third fastest. Ahead of Verstappen, ahead of Albon and Stroll, who's now seventh because he's been passed by Pierre Gasly. Carlos Sainz goes fifth. He started seventh the last two races here at Monza and crossing the line now to start his flying lap. That's uh, Daniel Ricciardo, sorry, to end his flying lap. He goes eighth fastest with Lando Norris, sixth overall. Bottas a personal best first sector. Hamilton a tenth faster. So already there's a couple of hundreds that uh, Valtteri Bottas needs to make up or a tenth that Valtteri Bottas needs to make up already through the first sector on board then with Lewis Hamilton. Amazing how he can just get the nose in and mash the throttle.
Ricardo has put in the best first sector overall with a 26-6. Bottas has absolutely nailed the middle sector with a 26-2. Bottas is giving it everything. He's on the front row here at Monza for the first time in his career, but that pole position at the moment is looking just a little bit beyond him. Bottas rounds the final corner, uh, crosses the line. 1.18.9 for Valtteri Bottas. We are into the one minute 18s. Can Hamilton snatch back that pole position? Of course he can! Six one hundredths of a second faster. Lewis Hamilton, for the seventh time, is on pole at Monza. It's seventh on the grid for Alex Albon, fourth for Max Verstappen. Pierre Gasly is out qualified by Albon. Perez maintains that third place as Daniel Ricciardo crosses the line for fifth. Here comes Carlos Sainz for McLaren. Third on the grid for Carlos Sainz. What a lap that is! Can Lando Norris beat it? No. Six for Norris. And that means it's four apiece in that all McLaren battle in 2020. Lance Stroll is eighth on the grid. I tell you what, take a bow, Carlos Sainz. Well done, Valtteri Bottas. But once again, Hamilton in qualifying a class apart. Well, Hamilton is on course to smash every Formula One record. And Bottas can still run him within 69 thousandths of a second. It's always the blink of an eye, and it's always Bottas's eye that blinks, unfortunately. But he's still pushing Lewis Hamilton to his absolute limits. Lap of the day, Carlos Sainz, yeah. P3. We don't have a Red Bull on the second row of the grid.